Shalom, family. Really briefly, I want to share with you something very, very special in the Torah. In Shemot, in Exodus chapter 20, we see within the Ten Commandments, God says, For I am a jealous God. We see this throughout the Torah in other examples. Jealous God. I am a jealous God. But what does this actually mean? Today we're going to learn together what this literally means from the Hebrew. So you can get a deeper understanding of how powerful this message is for you. God often warns about idolatry. For the very first statements of the Torah itself, you shall have no other gods on my face, al Panai. For I am a jealous God, a jealous God, a jealous God. What does this mean? The word in Hebrew is kana. Now listen carefully. This is what kana actually means. It means that he literally turns color in his face, red in the face, or discoloration of the face. Think about it. The thought of you committing spiritual adultery or flirting with another Elohim literally makes him kana, not jealous. It means his face turns color, not literally, but the phrasing here, it's got to hit you right here in the heart, literally says he loves you so much. Your Abba, the creator of all, says that the thought of you flirting or committing spiritual adultery with another God makes him, in a spiritual sense, flush blush of hurt and pain because he loves you so much. Kana Elohim, a jealous God. His face turns color, hurt. That's how much he loves you. I just wanted to share this because this is something that really is powerful to show you how much your father, our Elohim, how much he loves us. Remember, Yeshiyahu, Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8. For I am Yehoah, that is my name, and my glory I will not share with another. He is one. There is nothing else. Devarim, chapter 6, verse 4. Shema Yisrael, Yehoah Eloheinu, Yehoah Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, only one. He is jealous for you because he loves you. 